Hey guys, it's Mark with Spagabber Backpacking. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So, I've been uh, doing some cooking today. Had to go to the store, pick up some things for it. And so I decided, why not sit down and put together a DIY backpacking meal uh, using some of the stuff you can get from the store and doing a little bit of dehydrating. So, I picked up a few things that, that anyone can find. Um, key ingredients are going to be some chicken. So this is breast chicken with rib meat, uh, bumblebee premium. It's white, packed in, in water. You want to make sure it's packed in water and not oil. So I've got that. I've actually got a couple of those. What I'm going to do is open them up, drain them, and then spread them out on my dehydrator. Next key ingredient are the Idahoan. This one's the loaded baked potatoes. You can get any of them. They've got a ton of different flavors. Uh, this is one that I like because it has sour cream, cheeses, onion and chives, a little bit of butter and bacon in there. Next piece, uh, real crumbled bacon. So a couple of spoonfuls of this in with your mix when you get it together. Uh, you know, bacon always makes things better. And then a couple of spoonfuls of some chicken gravy will, will really help to get that going. And then I like, I like to use mixed vegetables. Uh, so this has beans, carrots, corn, and some sweet peas. And I actually like the, the corn and the sweet peas a lot, so I actually grabbed a second bag, uh, one of each of those, and so I added a little bit more of the corn, a little bit more of the sweet peas so that I have those in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, start the de dehydrating process, show you guys uh, how I layer it on there, and then once it's all dehydrated, we'll take another look at it, show how we put it all together into a, a good sized meal, and then uh, later on we'll, we'll take a better look at what it looks like when it's done. Uh, so stick with me, and we'll do this. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's the next day. Gone ahead and dehydrated everything. And so this this bag right here is that entire bowl of the vegetables and then those two cans of, uh, I believe, a total of eight ounces of, of chicken. Uh, that's all in here, it's all dry. And this is actually enough to do at least two, two maybe even three, three meals. Um, so what I do is I would separate this out into another bag before going out on the trip. This I would separate into two, so this makes two meals. Um, so I do that. I would throw probably two two spoonfuls of this in with the uh, with the meat and vegetables, and then a couple of a uh, couple of spoonfuls of this in with each of the each of the individual bags of the meat and vegetables. So then what I do is when I get to to camp, uh, you know, if I've got this, a bag that's got this third of it in there, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either boil it and have it in the, in the pot while you're boiling it, or you can soak it, you can pre-soak it. Uh, because this was the, the canned chicken, it actually rehydrates really well just doing it in a cozy. So what I normally will do is uh, I'll usually use a gallon gallon bag so that I can eat right out of it. And I will do uh, 
enough water to cover it, boil it, throw it in there, toss it into my cozy, let it sit for a good 20, 30 minutes, then put this in on top of it, boil more water to put in with it, and then it'll all be one big, one big mess. It'll be the, uh, the potatoes with the chicken and vegetables in it. Uh, of course, the bacon will be in there. So that's one way you can do use your dehydrator to to make some some backcountry meals that you've done on your own. Um, so that way you control the ingredients, you control the nutritional value, uh, you you kind of control exactly what you're putting into your body. There's another way. So you saw with the dehydrator, I had <laughs> last night after dinner, uh, I put another layer in there. So what I had was uh, last night I had made some chicken tortilla soup. Really good stuff. And so I put in a fruit roll-up tray and dehydrated that. So as it comes out, it'll come out in big chunks. Actually, you could pretty much pull the whole whole tray out as one. And so it'll come out in these big chunks. And you can, you can throw it in the bags like that. Uh, you can smash it up before you throw it in the bag. This is enough here for at least two, two good meals. So to store it, I'll just put it in here, seal it up. And I like to toss it into the, the freezer just to make sure that it's keeping well. But that should be good for quite a while. I mean, you've taken all the all the uh, hydration, the, the moisture out of it, so it's it's extremely dry. The thing is, if you if you put it in this bag and you start smashing it up, what it does is it actually will start because it's so hard, so brittle, and so sharp. Uh, it'll start to put holes into here. So if you want to, you can put it in one, smash it up, then transfer it to a new one. Uh, because these aren't quite as strong as like a vacuum seal bag, some people use the vacuum seal bags. And so you can portion everything out, do the vacuum seal bag. Uh, and then again for these, boil the water, do enough to cover it, let it sit for a good 20 minutes, and everything should reconstitute and be good to go. So here I've got, you know, enough, enough sitting here on the table with this stuff here, probably enough for uh, two really big or three decent sized meals. Uh, and that's the other thing. So I, I've actually seen a couple of people that put that, you know, even the single serving meals are just too much for them out on the trail. So doing it yourself, you can you can portion this up as big or as small as you want to. Same with, uh, with this. So this, I like to do this. This is real easy. If you've got a dehydrator at home, if you have dinner, you like your dinner and you have a little bit left over, <laughs> make sure it's cut up into nice small chunks, toss it on the dehydrator, and you know, eight to 15 hours later, you've got yourself a great backpacking meal that you can take out. And you know you liked it at home, so you're gonna love it out on the trail. Uh, so yeah, here I've got at least two, maybe three servings of my soup, uh, at least two, if not three servings of the meat and potatoes. So. You know, I've got five, six backpacking meals right here, uh, and I've got, you know, spaghetti and and meat sauce uh, in the in the freezer right now that I already did. Uh, I've got a couple others, so you know, it's all what what you've got. If you have a dinner and you like the dinner, go ahead and do it. If you've got a dehydrator, you can do all kinds of great meals. Um, so those are my tips. If you guys like them, do them. You know. Use your imagination. Come up with meals that you like. Do them out on the trail. You know, you don't have to be limited to what Mountain House, Packet Gourmet, uh, Alpine Air, or any of those guys have. Uh, if you like it, make it. Take it with you. You know, that's that's what it's all about is getting out there, doing things that you enjoy, and having fun doing it. So, I hope you guys got something out of this and enjoyed it. I'm going to enjoy eating these when I get out on the trail. I probably will do another video where I put some of this together, show you guys exactly how to reconstitute it and uh, make a good meal out of it. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. Get out there and do it. I'll see you guys down the trail. Thanks.